Amazon's still selling sedition, and One Fresh Pillow is defending Bedtime's good name. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand, Hit Miss of the Week. The Miss This Week goes to Amazon. Here we are two weeks removed from the Capitol attack by a mob of conspiracy theory pushing Trump supporters, and as the New York Times reported this week, you could still buy a Battle for Capitol Hill veteran t-shirt on Amazon for 20 bucks. Of course, the sedition merch market was open on other platforms as well, including Shopify and Etsy. The Times story rightly points out that while the Capitol violence put new scrutiny on how social media companies had largely failed to monitor dangerous speech and organizing on their platforms, it also highlighted how e-commerce companies have enabled just about anyone with a credit card and an email address to sell stuff online. Remember that despicable Camp Auschwitz guy? Yeah, he bought his shirt on Etsy. Meanwhile, Amazon said on January 11th that it would remove products promoting QAnon and that third party vendors who attempted to sell the wares could face bans, according to NBC. But at the start of this week, hundreds of products from Amazon vendors were still selling QAnon related merch. Amazon is working hard to weed out these users, but it obviously needs to invest more time and effort here. Just as with social platforms, the time of ignorance, willful or otherwise, to the dangers of misinformation in favor of the bottom line are over. This week's hit goes to Tallahassee, Florida-based startup One Fresh Pillow. Thanks to the ridiculous efforts of my pillow founder Mike Lindell and his enthusiastic Trump support, the politicization of pillows is actually a thing I'm saying out loud in public. Thankfully, One Fresh Pillow founders Adrian and Aaron Kotz are pushing back to give sleep cushions a good name. While Lindell was supporting the attack on the Capitol and continued to spread conspiracy theories, getting dumped by Bed Bath & Beyond in the process, One Fresh Pillow was sending free pillows to the Capitol for National Guard to use while staying there on duty for the inauguration. The move got the small startup a lot of attention. And Adrienne, who definitely does not run the brand's Twitter account, responded with her usual pillow-inspired charm offensive, while the company sold three months worth of product in one day. Face it, the world needs a lot more good sleeps after this last year, and an upstart pillow brand is one of the week's best signs of better times to come. That's it for now, thanks for watching.